Oh, that's runs. Yeah, they'll take everything and get an outside edge by a goal. Oh, it's difficult for tail end. Is it difficult? most times but when you get a day like today with the ball seaming and swinging and batsmen have problems you can see how difficult it then is for tail enders oh good shot really good shot he pitched it up that's right tail enders put back to ball you can't play like batsman on the floor just get some wood on the ball umar gul there very sensible that was a good authentic clip actually from umar gul Defying his status as a number nine. That's <laughs> quite an arrogant pick up over square leg. Off the stumps, too. Out. No. It's wide of third slip. That wasn't a chance. Colin was a good slipper and he couldn't really get to that. Yeah, they'll take him any way they can. Four runs there again to go. Oh, gorgeous shot. Oh, my goal. Any batsman would have been proud of that. Beautiful cover drive. Every run is priceless now for Pakistan. 20 needed to avoid the follow-on. Very important. They don't leave England to make the decision. Psychologically, they want to get those 20 runs. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, that's a really good shot. Oh, my goal. That's a cracker, he's just bounced. Has he gone for six, he says, and it is six. It's a good hit. You could tell by the crowd, they knew. It's the second highest partnership of the innings. Well, the ninth wicket. 33 absolutely priceless runs with an excellent pull shot. James Anderson bowls the first ball. Oh, a good stroke. What a way to get going by Umar Gul, just lent on a full ball and stroked it through wide mid on for four. That could be that. Question answered. England will bat again come what may because Pakistan have avoided the follow-on. All the way, phenomenal strike. Thrilling shot indeed, and that takes Umar Gul to his highest test score. That'll go for 4-2. 50 for Umar Gul, what a splendid innings. <laughs> Carried the attack to England. He's been the one Pakistan player to really play some free-spirited strokes. Is it 18 this over or Finn? 18, and the ball's moving all over the place. Is this catchable? It's very high in the air, it's six. Go, Umar, go. Have they not learned that if the ball's short at him, he's going to hit it? We're both poor this morning, and Strauss should know that. I think that maybe the team have had a meeting, they've decided that whatever happens, they're going to bat a second time, and so the bowlers have come out in a kind of soporific mental attitude that, well, they'll get out sooner or later, because we're going to bat, it doesn't matter how we bowl. And that's a biggie! Go get him, boy! Well, this is rubbish, isn't it? It's a fantastic batting, that's even bigger six, that's the fourth sixes hit. Most batsmen on either side can't lay bat on ball. They're struggling. 35 runs in 15 minutes from tail enders. That tells you everything about England's bowling and the quality of Gull's batting. That's double the amount of runs that England lost six wickets for yesterday morning. Oh, hit and you're out. It is out. <laughs> so if you can't bowl them out, you've got to run them out. It was a nice moment when Owen Morgan paused, knew he had the opportunity and took it. Mohamed Asif is the man who's run out. Umar Gul finishes unbeaten with 65 of the most sparkling runs made from just 46 balls.